that we needed to get in there. So now we need to figure out more stuff that we need to get. Um, maybe we should head to the house now because I can't think of much else to really do outside of the house. Then again, I can't think of a whole lot to do inside of the house because I don't remember it super well. But whatever. I know there are some nodes. That's what I'm mostly after because once you get all the nodes, the, the level is much less stressful because you can die. And dying is... Uh, as long as you have your lives, dying is no big deal. I guess we don't have that many lives. We only have, like, two. But I feel better if we had a hundred nodes. Especially since that's kind of the easiest, the hardest stuff to find. I mean, well, no, the honeycomb's the hardest thing to find. Oh, hey, it's a toilet. Swell. Thanks for sharing. Mumbo token and a broken mirror thing. And red feathers in the shower. Don't know what kind of significance that has. I honestly do not. But hey, you know what? Don't mind getting a mumbo token and some red feathers. And I, there's stuff that we can do in there later. So, uh, whatever. Okay, so, well, where am I, how am I supposed to get anywhere? I just run into the ceiling. Okay, get on Kazooie real quick. Or just jump. Oh, crap. No, no, don't fall all the way. Ugh. No, we don't want to go in the house yet. Not in the bottom level of the house. I remember that, at least. Ugh, okay. Let's go back up here. Except that never seems to work very well. And then I'll just run into that thing and not be able to pick up its life. I do not like this world. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you right now, this is one of my... This is, like, my least favorite world so far in the game. I, I even liked Free ZZ Peak, I mean, even though it was kind of a bother, I liked it, partly because I really liked the music, and because, I don't know, the atmosphere was just, in general, a bit more cheery. Here, it's kind of, uh, you know, a bit less cheery, to say the least. <laughs> uh, okay, well, let's keep climbing, I guess. There's probably more stuff up here. A chimney, I think. So let's go inside the chimney. Let's see. Oh. Oh, crap. Are we able to do this now? I don't remember if we can do this now. If we... Uh, who woke Napper while he's sleeping? I can hear someone down there creeping. Uh, well, it was me. I don't remember how this works. He's standing over a flight pad and a... Or, well, maybe just the jiggy and not the flight pad. But I don't remember how you get him to move. There's some way to do it, and it has to do with, like, waking him up or not waking him up. But I don't remember how you actually are supposed to do it. Because even while he was asleep, he was on top of the jiggy. So even if we didn't wake him up, it wouldn't mean anything. Oh, he is also on top of the flight pad. What is... I don't know. Well, is there anything else we can do in here while we wait? Whoa. Man, if I had fire arrows, <laughs> I'd shoot that. But I don't. Oh, look, it's a nice picture of Swan Swanilda, I think her name was. I couldn't remember it last time, but I think that's it. Swan Swanilda or something like that. All right, well, I guess we'll open this and come back in there later. So that was a fail. At least we got some notes. Well, then what does this window go to if it doesn't go into the... Into the actual... Oh, hey! <laughs> Man, I don't know. Because I thought that that window would go into straight into that room. And I knew that we couldn't do stuff in there un until we could, like, wake him up when he was... I don't know. I don't know anything about this world. And anything that I think I know is just wrong. Can we, like, go through any of these portraits? Oh, hey. We don't want to be picking up all these red feathers because we, uh, you know, we already have enough. We already have plenty, actually. So can we, like, go through any of these? No. Well, you know, you never know. I always have to... I don't want to, like, leave some stone unturned to you know, use the cliche phrase. But, uh, you know what I mean. I don't want to go in one of those little rooms and then later find out that there was actually stuff that I needed to do in there if I had just attacked one of the portraits or something. 
I feel like these little rooms never actually have anything. They're always just... There's never anything in here. It's just, like, eggs, and there aren't even notes. But, whatever. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure some of the windows are important, right? I'm pretty sure. Some of them, at least. Oh, there's this thing. Can we do this now, or do we do this later? I think we can do this now. Can we, like, ground pound? Yeah, yeah, okay. I don't know exactly what this is, but I know that you can get down here and do something, presumably. Oh, crap. It's one of those guys. Oh, I hear a Jinjo, though. Okay, let's, uh... We have to actually... I wish there was a name for that jump. Kind of, like, backflip. Maybe I'll call it backflip. That, that's, a, that's a name. What am I saying? Okay. Well, I guess one of these must be... Have a Jinjo. Oh! Well, okay. One of them will have a Jiggy. I guess that's fair. I don't know which number that is. These have numbers on them. Oh, well, they're all the same number. Or 1880... 1881 has the Jinjo. There you go. Hey, we have almost all five Jinjos already. That's pretty good. Mumbo token. Is there any other stuff in these? There are a lot. One of these that is boarded up. That'll, uh... That's, uh, something else. That, uh, I'll probably talk about much, much later. Um, but don't try to open it. I know, I remember that, because that's, you know, kind of significant. If you know what I'm talking about, it's this thing. Don't try to open that. There's not a way to do it. it uh, never mind. Let's get out of here. We got our Jiggy and Jinjo and notes, so we have what we want. And then, oh, man, this thing. Nice, nice. <laughs> bird versus bird. Okay. Well, is a bat a bird, really? I don't know. I don't know if a bat is a bird. It has wings. What does it mean to be a bird? I don't know. What is... Oh, jeez. Nice. Another one there. What What if we fall in, the, in one of these little cracks? Are we gonna, like, fly down... Oh, we just fall down in a... Oh, is this that thing? Yeah, okay, I think I remember what this is. Because there's that guy. And we can't get it. That little honeycomb piece. We can't get it. But we can get it later, after we transform, because we'll be small enough to go under those cracks. But we can't do it now, because we're Banjo and Kazooie, so we'll have to come back here later. Ugh. But I guess it's op it's important that we open the window, because in our in our form, later, we won't be able to do that. Hey, nice. Recovery, Banjo. Alright, so I guess I'll open up all the windows now, since I didn't do it the first time. Man, how long is this... Ugh, what are we up to? I don't even know. This sure is taking a long time, though. <laughs> it's probably the longest world yet. Gobi's Valley was pretty quick. That only took like an hour to record. It was pretty... That's quick compared to some of the other stuff. Wow, 30 Mumbo tokens. Nice. I'm pretty sure we only need like 20 for this world. And 73 notes. Okay, that's not bad. Almost a quarter of the way there. Ugh, I hate that thing. Is there a gold feather back here or something? Can we get these guys with gold feathers? Didn't I try that? Oh. Hey, well... I guess you can. It's not exactly... worth it. <laughs> I mean, if you're just avoiding them. Oh! Is it a Jinjo? Definitely heard a Jinjo. Oh, it's up there. How do we get up there? That's the last Jinjo, so if we can get that... Are we, do we, like, do something like that? Some tricky little move where we, like, start the backflip before and... Oh, no, we use the shock pad. What is wrong with you? Uh, sometimes you just overlook the smallest things. I mean, that's pretty common in video games where you just overlook some tiny little thing and you spend all this time trying to figure out how to do something. Oh, we're only at, like, 30 minutes. That's not too bad. It feels like it's been... Uh, it feels like it's been forever. It's because I don't like this world. But whatever. It's still fun. Don't get me wrong. I just compared to the... To some of the other worlds. I guess it's good. I mean, it'd be lame if all of them were... Super easy or whatever. Alright, so let's try going inside the chimney again. And see if anything has changed about... So he's still asleep, so... He... Are we supposed to just, like, walk all carefully and not loudly? Or did that wake him up? What? Oh, yeah, yeah, laugh away, Grunty. Did we wake him up? I can't tell. I think we did. 
he looks away. Well, I was walking pretty slow. I don't know how... If that wakes him up, then how in the world are we... Do we fall down from there? I feel like we might do that, because there's a life up there. So, there must be some way to... I mean, maybe in some other room, if we, like, ground pound or something. Uh, I'm not gonna... I I have an idea. It might have something to do with the mumbo transformation, but I don't remember exactly. I don't really know. Well, of course, it, it can have something to... It, it couldn't be with the mumbo transformation, because we have to have the... Um... The Kazooie, so we can do the flight pad. Though, what the flight pad is actually good for, I don't really know, because I didn't see any... Thing that we could fly to, other than the life, maybe, but... That's not that... I mean... I don't know. 